Well, we're heading out of Arizona again, and it's time to be full-time on the road again. We're living in the A-Liner camper trailer, we're going to Oregon, and we're gonna put a flatbed, lift this thing, 37s camper. It's gonna be amazing, and I'm really excited. Um, so, we got a lot of driving to do. We're gonna try to get to Reno today. It's about 11 hours on the road. So yeah, glad to have you guys along for the ride. A little bit emotional leaving home again, but way easier than the first time, and I'll be back in a few months, and this is just life now, so, you! Taking a quick break, Coda got to run around a bit in this dirt lot, and we even popped up the A-liner just to hang out for like a couple minutes. That's how easy it is to pop this thing up and down. An amazing tiny home truck camper trailer thing. Look at it. There past this Chevy. Oh, we gotta see it. Oh my goodness, what is this? Is this a Jeep? No. It's a Jeep. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? That is the coolest custom tiny home Jeep thing ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Who is this person? I wish they had their Instagram. Wait, maybe they did. We gotta check the video. Oh my gosh. <gasps> You've taken my breath away. Woo! Well, we're almost at our river spot, the Truckee River that we stayed last year. Uh, crazy 12 hours of driving and we're almost at a beautiful river. Yeehoo! Do you remember this? <laughs> Morning everyone. Looks like we spooked these old wild horses. Sorry there guys. You don't have to run away. Oh my gosh, look at all the horses up there. Wow. Cool, they're all booking it. Booking it down to the river. Dang, <laughs> I opened the door and just came flying out of the camper like boom, boom, because it's kind of tall up. And they were right there. <laughs> they were like 10 feet away and they were like, ah, and they started running and I was like, ah. And then I grabbed Coda. So let's let Coda girl out. Anyways, beautiful spot, eh? Um, yeah, last year, come on, Bubba's. Yeah, last year uh, I came here, I stayed right here right here with the Dodge Mahal for um, like a week waiting to uh, get the truck in the shop to get the power steering pump replaced. This is so awesome. I'm so glad I came down here. Uh, it looks like it dead ends a little bit further. I could camp even just right here if I needed. Uh, and there's the river. Check it out. Now we got a brand new Gladiator and our A-Liner home and we're just ready to rock. Uh, so that's sweet, but we yeah, let's go on a little walk down by the river here. So last time we were at the river, where Coda is like right now was underwater or there was a little bit of a pool here. Now, as you can see, the river is way, way lower, like tremendously lower and it's actually kind of gross and sad because there's like trash, like that pallet and like that thing over there, whatever that thing is there. I can see you, you're unnatural. Alrighty, well, we're pulling out of our Truckee River spot. And uh, yeah, it was a heck of a time getting that, that old gal leveled. 
Should have got a little bit more footage for y'all, but that's okay. We had some cruising out. I could have had a great time, loved it here. Uh, it was a nice spot to stop, but this next spot at Klamath Lake is gonna be a little bit more beautiful. Um, oh my gosh, Coda's got stuff all over her new sweatshirt figures. Woo! turning right here. This is weird. But hey, there we are. <laughs> well, I really wanted to be at camp before sunset, but looks like we might not make that happen. Check this out. So cool. I remember driving through here last year and just being like, what? Pretty cool, huh, Coats? Bubba girl. Yeah, don't want to go off right. <laughs> oh, that would be insane. Could you imagine, you guys? Oh my gosh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> oh, don't even stop. I got. Oh, I hate thinking about that kind of stuff. Don't you do that when you're on road trips too, though? You've been driving all day. You get all weird. Obviously, I'm zoned in, I'm plenty awake. I'm just messing with you guys, but you know what I mean. We're trying soon, and I see a lot of snow out there. That white stuff, snow. So, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if there's gonna be snow at the campsite. I kinda hope so. Uh, we gotta turn right here. Yeah. Oh, look, there's some snow. Yeah. Super smooth. Shh, it's really quiet. <laughs> And our spot is right up here to the left. Nope, nobody's there, perfect. So I'll pull in over here, we'll be able to drop down. Oh, awesome. This is a spot, Cody, you remember? All right, so we'll drop down in here. Well, this is a tight turn, but looks like we got it. Whoa, this is really Tight for the old gal. The old trailer. But yeah, we'll just pull up right here. It's pretty level right here from what I remember. And we definitely don't want to be spending a half an hour leveling and getting it ready like yesterday. Let's see how she looks. All right, Codes, how does she look? Just making some Velveeta here tonight. It's gonna be nice and easy. Yeah, we're still getting dialed in on the cooking setup. I love cooking, but I gotta be dialed in. So, and I'm not quite dialed in yet, but I do love my Camp Chef stuff. I gotta do that review and show you guys all that new Camp Chef stuff, because it's awesome. Where 
night codes. Well, he had a great sleep. Somehow Coda got her. She got her little sweater off in the middle of the night. Which I thought was crazy and it didn't even rip. Break it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm afraid if I went kayaking and I'd just like run into some ice and flip over like a dummy. <laughs> Good girl, where you going? You explorings? She loves exploring around. <laughs> it's good. Go, you don't have to go that fast, Bubba's. Holy cow. Oh man, I can't even be a good Samaritan and pick it up. It's stuck. Oh, we got it. Oh, there's some syrup in there too. Look, we got some log cabin syrup. Awesome. Well, that's gonna about do it for this episode. I decided to make the next episode all about RC cars, how much fun I had at this icy lake with them, and how you can actually learn about real off-roading by driving and playing with an RC car. So be sure to tune into that, as well as my adventure here to Oregon. Hit that subscribe, drop a comment. The question is, are you down to five? <laughs>